Uh, this model kit review is of the F-104G Starfighter and uh, that's the options that we have there. This is a 132nd scale model by Hasegawa. It's a fairly large box because it's going to be a fairly large model. And let's see if we can see any other details. Here we go. And there's a picture of the finished model. That's quite a nice looking model. You can see we've got a gun panel open there. And there are some of the dimensions. Let's have a look at our sprues here. Okay, so first of all here, here's our glass. It's very nicely molded. You also have some resin parts and uh, looks like copper wire. So there's the resin wheels. There's some nice details there. Also, this looks like this is the uh, gun bay door from the outside. Now we're going to have a look at these sprues here. And it is a large model, that's for sure. So over here we have, uh, this is the left side of our fuselage. That's the gun bay. That's the opening for the gun bay there. Uh, cockpit is our air intake, wings, wheel well, air brakes. Uh, looks like our nose is uh, a little loose there, but here is our uh, cockpit with some nice detail on there. And uh, maybe the star of our exhaust. Here we have our engine. And uh, got some nice detail on that engine. Here's the other side of the engine. Uh, not really much in the way of detail for the cockpit. We'll have to look and see what else they have. Here's our wheel well cover. Looks like. And here is our uh, stabilizer, elevator. Is the other part of it. These are our uh, air intakes here and the other side of the cockpit, sorry the uh, fuselage with the cockpit. All these details here, there's a lot of surface detail but these are all raised surface details so that includes uh, panel lines and rivet lines, they're all raised. Same with the top of this uh, elevator. And over here, it looks like we have um, some landing gear parts, parts for our ejection seat, and control column. Not sure what all these extra little parts are. So we've got a tail hook, pedals here, so probably parts for our cockpit. And uh, there's our nose gear, and maybe gun parts. All pretty well molded. Good level of detail there. We do have a pilot figure. Here he is, and here his arms are. We have some exhaust parts, and these are actually very nicely molded. And there's our engine parts for the air intake. We have our nose wheel well cover there with some nice detail. That's maybe the also the gun gun bay door. And then we have, uh, these are the wheel well covers for the main gear. The main gear really aren't that bad. I mean, that's, that's some pretty good molding quality, even for styrene. But they gave you the resin parts. Okay, here are our uh, weapons and air brake. And then these are for the, um, uh, well, for the missiles. We have our wings, these are short little wings uh, as they were on this uh, plane. Here's our uh, instrument panel, that is some very nice detail there. This looks like our uh, radar, so you might be able to have your uh, nose forward. 
We've got uh, our fuel tanks for the sides and uh, not sure what that's for. Here's our uh, nose wheel well. That is nicely molded. Good level of detail. We've got um, the other air brake and then looks like part of the uh, maybe of the cockpit. That might be the uh, cover for the instrument panel. We have the back part of the plane here. That will go together there. And I guess you could take it apart and that way you could see the engine detail. That goes together like that. Got some flashing that needs to be taken out. So, we'll have a look at our decals here. Some nice decals, good level of detail with lots of extra little pieces here and there. And then our instructions. So we've got some uh, details about the plane there. And here is the uh, parts listings and they show you the parts we're not going to use because you've got resin parts there. And then those are the colors needed. So it looks like we're going to start off with our cockpit. Good level of detail there. We then insert that all into our uh, fuselage. And then uh, we're going to put our fuselage together with our air intakes and build the engine. And then uh, our nose gear. Start to put our main gear together with the uh, wheel well covers there. Quite a lot of detail there. This is all for our gun bay. We've got our air brakes, our tail and uh, stabilizer. This is for our uh, radar then our pilot goes together and we put him in with our uh, canopy and with our weapons and then fuel tanks that's what those are for, those are the, the uh, fins for the fuel tank and then uh, wings are, are mounted and you don't glue that in so that way you can pull out the uh, engine to look at it there's your um, hook and then on the back here we have got our uh, paint and decal guide as you can see uh, lots of um, decals and some different options so that one's for the Italian Air Force that one is for the uh, Taiwanese Air Force and this one is for the Spanish Air Force and here are the other views for Italian and that one's for Taiwanese and that one is for Spanish so that is actually a very nice model kit great level of detail for both wheel wells and for the cockpit decals are great if only we had some raised, some uh, recessed panel lines. Otherwise, this is a great model.